Welcome back to Riverside Royals Dynasty here in NCAA Football 14 College Football Revamp. And today we're taking on number 24 ranked Air Force. This might be our first ranked team of the rebooted series, maybe. Definitely the first ranked team we've played this year. They're an 83 overall across the board. And I do have a recruiting update. So obviously last week went pretty well. We got the win. And with three players that were visiting... These have already happened. It says visit scheduled. They've already happened. And we got big points for the week seven visit. And we've taken the lead on all three of these players. Olu Cunningham, Trey Watson, and Flo Kelsey. Will we be able to keep this lead? Not so sure about that, unfortunately. Two players are ready for visits. Both offensive linemen, Ryan Cook from Louisiana and junior college transfer Patrick Drango, originally from Mountain Park, Georgia. We are behind on both. But with good visits, we could definitely jump into the lead. And we are also the only schools in the nation to offer these players scholarships. So we should be able to overtake North Texas and Georgia Tech at some point here in the near future. And I think I'd like to schedule these visits for today. A ranked win would be big points. They're complimentary visits on the offensive line, so we get extra points as well. So... Winning this game would be incredible. Very, very important. Also, having a dominant offensive day would be, be, uh, be very helpful for us as well. I've added two more players to our board. Chris Christian and Xavier Harris. Now, I don't exactly have as many points as I would want because I had to do some scouting. Took a lot of players off the board. A lot of players were really bad. But these two might actually be good. Chris Christian from Port Lavaca, Texas. Number 107 corner in the nation. He's a three-star. However, just like with those offensive linemen that we've decided to bring in for visits today, no scholarships for Christian or Harris. Now, Harris does have more interest from top-tier programs. However, no scholarships could be an advantage for us. We're kind of building up that Texas pipeline. Daniel Belcher from a year ago. We don't have it active right now, but we are working towards it. Xavier Harris is probably the guy I want most. 94 speed, only 84 acceleration, but 79 pursuit, 86 play rec, 84 man, 82 zone. I think he is a corner. Only 50 injury is frightening, but I think he's a corner. Could potentially play wide receiver. I think he's definitely more suited to the defensive side of the ball. Probably a corner. You could consider him at safety. But two big recruits coming today. Two big recruits onto the board. We have a lot of ground to make up as we are really getting into these recruitments late. But it's certainly not out of the question that we could end up getting in the race for one of these guys if we go all the way in. Don't really have any bonus on Harris, only plus 20. And that is, of course, for campus lifestyle being terrible and athletic facilities being terrible. But winning is only going to improve those things. That's what we're focused on right now. He is not quite a gem. None of these guys are. But they are good. 87 pursuit for Chris Christian with good speed. Decent enough coverage. But they're both 71 overall. Harris, I think, is certainly the better player. But 50 injury compared to... We even see injury for Chris Christian. I don't think we do. But 50 injury is scary for Xavier Harris. All right, Royals. We are not too far behind Air Force in terms of total talent. Obviously, it's not quite the same level. They're an 83 overall to our 77. We still lack speed on both sides of the ball, really. But we have a couple players where if they have big games, I know we're going to win. If Kahi Anoke has a big game, he's got speed to take the top off of any defense. Justin Lingard's played well. Would like to get him the football a little bit more. Obviously, we've had problems at running back because Daniel Belcher, our big gem signing from a year ago has been banged up a lot this year our starting quarterback Garrett Geary has been banged up a lot this year so we need our best players to stay healthy if we're gonna have any chance of staying with a team that's on paper better than we are check the injury report you can see Daniel Belcher still going to be missing this game but returning next week it's a big loss to not have him here today but what can you do next man up Still, we will start with the football. Mario Gardner and Wesley Price are back to return. Price is going to be that lead blocker. 
Going to get Gardner out there. And it's a decent block from Wesley Price. He's still going. Gardner up the sideline. Big time return close to the 40, although this one might be coming back. Probably clipping. It's exactly what it is. Unfortunate. And it's Wesley Price. That did look clean. What are they calling? Come on, dude. Jimmy Gordon still our main running back. He's just a little bit quicker than the backup Anthony Holmes, who did play a lot last year, but I think Gordon's just kind of passed him on the depth chart. Not a great run to start things off. We need Geary to have a big time game today. That's going to be a good route and a really good throw and a nice over the shoulder grab from Justin Lingard. Geary with time to throw and a really good route by the true freshman receiver. I really think the duo of Justin Lingard and Kahi Kalani Anoke can be really, really good for the future. We just need the time to let them get open and uh, make some of these plays happen. So we'll try a screen back to Lingard. Not really much doing there. And this looks like that free safety is coming up to blitz. Really just bluffed it. And Geary's going to be under pressure and sacked. That's a really, really good disguise from the Air Force defense. That safety creeped down like he was going to buzz down, maybe even blitz, and then just drop back into coverage, which I feel like is really rare. I don't know that I've, in this game, ever noticed a safety creep up and not blitz. So definitely caught off guard there. It's third and 16. Just good coverage. We're going to take a deep shot. Kahi Kalane, and okay, makes the grab down the field. 47 yards on a third and long. I mean, hey, take a shot. Geary literally took a shot, drilled as he released the football, but got enough on it and hit the big six foot four, 230 pound true freshman receiver down the field. Threw up a prayer and his prayers were answered. Unbelievable. We hit that throw. Yes, we can. First down, Stephen Jones. Geary really letting it rip early and often. I don't really like saying the T in often. I don't know why I said often. It's like when people say obviously, don't like that. First and 10. Underneath, back to Stephen Jones. Second and three. And I think now we probably will try and run the football again. Although I don't love the idea of breed option. I'm just too worried about the health of Garrett Geary. We've seen him miss too many uh, plays over his true freshman season as well. So I, I think just regular runs are a better idea. Obviously, we should be sliding pretty much every single time Geary touches the football in the open field. Don't really want to be taking any shots at all. And we're going to get out a speed option there to go back up the middle. Only three down linemen for Air Force begging for us to run the football. Holmes gets probably a long one, maybe close to two. And now Air Force really stacking the box. We're going to go fullback dive. And wow, Tyler Ashley actually loses a yard. He's usually so consistent in short yardage spots. Is able to just go through players. But the Air Force defensive line standing strong. Third and goal. Really don't want to settle for three. Throw a slant. Timed it up perfectly. Throw is on the money. Justin Lingard dropped the football. And now we do have to settle for a field goal try. Uh, devastating. Devastating to have, you know, six points on the board guaranteed. Probably seven with an extra point. I say probably because you never know with my kickers. We do have a good recruit, Evan Capo Negro from Delaware that we're really trying to get. But uh, don't have him yet, obviously. But uh, really unfortunate. Lingard, I mean, he made a great catch on this drive. It was a big drive for the true freshman. Geary playing well, Lingard playing well, and Noke with a huge grab. And then Geary with a bullet, dart, right on time to Lingard, and he just had it bounce off his hands. We might want to turn on the conservative catching coach adjustment, but I do like the idea of breaking tackles, and drops do happen. But they certainly are frustrating. And that's right, Air Force is going to be a military-style offense. And what I mean by that is these military schools will often run, like, the flexbone, wishbone offense. Like, old-school things that you haven't seen since 1950 for most teams. But it's uh, pretty common for Air Force, Navy, Army, 
read option there, and it's a broken tackle. This guy looks like Anthony Richardson, especially in the number 15, and he's playing like him. Ben Conley goes for 27. We're going to have to figure out a way to stop this. It's certainly not going to be with three down linemen, I'll tell you that. We need four down, three linebackers probably on every play. And yet, yeah, here they're out. Looks like the flesh bone or flex bone, wing T, whatever this is. And Conley just goes straight up the middle. It's another big run. Worried about the pitch there, and he just kept it himself. Touchdown, yeah. Bad angle from Alex DeRay, true freshman. Safety out there. I was controlling him. <laughs> and uh, we just, you know, went a little bit too close to the line of scrimmage there, and I just let 33 Henry get the edge, get the angle, and then it was just a broken tackle and an easy score. So really just not a great start to us for this game. We got lucky with, you know, a bomb downfield. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have points at all, right? Or certainly wouldn't. And then defensively, I mean, I don't know that we could have played worse. Hopefully we dial in and figure out how to stop this rushing attack because it's going to be a lot of running the football. But that was not a good first attempt. Certainly two very different styles of offense already as we get it back to Lingard. He dropped a touchdown, but that doesn't mean we don't trust him anymore, right? He's one of our best options. Need to keep getting him the football. And when Geary's dealing like this, there's no reason to stop throwing the football. Every throw from him so far has been absolutely perfect. The only incompletion, we know what it is. I've mentioned it six times already because it continues to frustrate me so much. Jimmy Gordon with a nice run there. But it doesn't mean we have to be a one-dimensional run-the-ball offense. As I think we're going to try and take off with Garrett Geary. does have great speed, but we're not taking any shots. I know that. No hits from any defenders. Slide and get out of bounds unless we absolutely have to have it. We're avoiding contact at all costs. Open uh, pass there. Good block from Inoke, but Geary has the speed to turn that into another first down. Why risk a bad throw or a drop when you can just run it yourself? Wide open, got the block too. Pretty nice sequence. It's been a lot of throwing the football. Oh my goodness. That was a dangerous one, but it is caught by Mario Gardner. Found a matchup I liked. I thought it was a linebacker, but it was just a white DB. <laughs> Which Air Force, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. And um, I'm not going to say we're lucky, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's a bad play call. You just can't, like, do an end around to your tight end. Can't do that. Second and 11. Inoke is going to be wide open. Another laser, not Inoke, excuse me, Justin Lingard. Inoke was on that other side. Great route from Lingard. Safety not even really reacting to him. And Garrett Geary is starting off this game about as well as you could have possibly hoped for. Eight of nine. And he's been perfect. He should be nine of nine. Gordon up the middle. Basically walks in. Touchdown, Jimmy Gordon. We take the lead. Great drive. Maybe got a little bit lucky at times. For sure. And just like... The lob over the middle was really scary, for sure. But you know what? It worked, and that's what matters right now. It's trying to win this game, and uh, we're certainly moving in the right direction. Need our defense to step up, but another good offensive drive. Better finish this time around, obviously. See, they're going two by twos here. Still could expect to run, and that's exactly what it's going to be. How do we stop this? I think I might actually have to take over the defensive play calling here because I don't really love what the defensive coordinator is calling. Sometimes Coach Dangus has to use his experience uh, and, and call something that might work a little bit better. End around. I mean, already it's looking a little bit better. That was like a jet sweep type deal. Mark Henry? Did I freak out about that name last season? I think I did. I was already defended better, but not great. Need to be better about tackling uh, in space there, but... That's always a tough formation to defend because they can do these little quick handoffs and we just don't have an answer for it. And it's nearly intercepted by Linwood Tapley. Oh my goodness, it was a gift. They finally throw the ball and they throw it right to us. Linwood Tapley can't believe it. He's stunlocked. Deer in headlights. He can't even believe it. 
I don't even know if he... It looks like Festus from uh, 2000's WWE. If you don't know about that reference, it was an interesting gimmick where uh, there was this big... I'd, I'd call him an oaf. I think he's an apt description. I don't hear that too often anymore, but he was a big oaf, and uh, his tongue would basically hang uh, almost out of his mouth, and he was completely oblivious to anything going on until the bell rung to start the match, and then he would go absolutely ballistic. It was interesting. Uh, third and five, but yeah, that's a little with Tapley for you, at least on that particular occasion. So many receivers are open. Of course, broken tackle nearly gets the first down for Air Force, but we might actually force a punt here. It is fourth and inches from our side of the field. And it looks like Air Force is just going to give us the football back. This is the least ballsy decision I have ever seen, and it results in what? 20 yards of field position, maybe? Touchback gives us the ball in the 20. I, I mean, I've never seen a more gutless, heartless call in my entire life. Air Force already deserves to lose. That's going to be open enough. Take that from Clarence Johnson. We'll get four. Could be things more open down the field. But you know what? We've been very good by just taking the open throw so far today and then taking shots when we feel like it. Don't have to force it every play. Don't have to push the ball down the field every play. Just when we see fit. That's the end of the first quarter. Electric start to this game. I love the idea of a screen here. They're playing off coverage as well. They kind of stepped up. We're just going to wait on it. There's Anoke, and look at the electric speed of Kahi Kalani Anoke. I mean, when he gets a full head of steam, look out, because it looked like he was probably going to get tackled and then just turns on the Jets, unlocks another gear, and he's flying. I mean, already 60 yards receiving for him. He's usually like our, a one-play big deep threat. But uh, if we can use him in the screen game too and use him almost as like a hybrid running back, that could be a fun thing to do as well. And we're just we're not really able to run the football creatively yet. Air Force clearly susceptible to being beat by the pass. And I think that's what we want to continue to do. Pass the football. Although when you have linebackers that run like that, I don't know how Joe Parks is able to stay in phase there. Thought we saw a mismatch with enough space, but our tight end Clarence Johnson just doesn't quite have enough speed. I think we want to leave Lingard open as a curl. Maybe Smith takes that safety. I'm hoping this is man coverage. And it was not. Just went to Lingard anyway. He's not able to catch it. Frustrating. Frustrating. Uh, that was one of those cases of, hey, I think our best chance is to... Uh, Predetermine the read. And I, I do actually think it was our best chance. Could have been intercepted. But yeah, I needed man coverage. Really, really needed this defender in the slot to carry that route vertical. And uh, we were just going to, you know, play one on one with the boundary. But yeah, good defense from Air Force. We're going to punt the football back. Hopefully, a better punt than they had. But fourth and 10, it's just we, we don't have any business going for this here. Decent enough punt from Bowen. I'll take that. It's not amazing. Maybe not even good. They might start with the football in the 30, and they do. It's it's a worse punt. We'd be better off with a touchback. So afraid of the touchback that uh, we gave him an extra 10 yards of field position. But we might move him back. Eric Webb already losing three. Look at Jared Bird up there. Really nice tackle from the DB. But also, look at number 22. Getting in there. Forcing an open man to come free. That was Linwood Tapley. Gotta love that. Second and 13. It's play action. And it's gonna be a screen, and it's dropped by Webb. Not on the same page with the quarterback there at all. I don't even know if he was expecting that. Did that hit him in the helmet? Certainly may have. Let's commit to the pass here. I think we can say safely that this will be a pass. Let's see what it is. Throw over the middle! And incomplete. Read that pretty well. And we're going to get the football back. Conley starting out one for four for five yards and a near interception as well. Maybe even two if you want to count that. Didn't get the hands up though. Probably would have dropped it anyway, but I think we're going to get good field position here. Look at the great blocks. Gardner needed another one. Only gets 10. First and 10, keeping the ball in the air. 
We're going to take a shot down the field. Lingard didn't have enough air underneath that one. Lingard kind of overran it, unfortunately. Uh, second and 10. And that's not on the receiver, in my opinion. That That is a uh, quarterback didn't have enough arm for it. Try a screen. Tough to not have enough arm for that throw. But it's too much speed from the defensive line. We only get one. And already this drive is not going anywhere. It's third and nine. I still like the idea of a screen here, but if it if the blocking's not good, we're shooting ourselves in the foot, but the blocking's gonna be great. Look at Harris. Gonna be just short, but we're gonna go for it on fourth and one. I think that's a pretty good result. We really have about half a yard to go. Fourth and one, Gordon in motion. Holmes up the middle, easy first down. We had to go for it in that spot, obviously. And it ends up working out fairly well for us. And we might try a quarterback run here. Not going to commit to it, but it's certainly possible. Usually they do read the quarterback in these spots, but they don't here. Geary keeps it, slides. I'm okay with three. Second down and seven. Tight end wide open. Hesitation up the field, up the seam, and gets 25. Clarence Johnson with another catch. His second of the day and another first down for the Riverside Royals. Gotta love it. Geary with a laser just over the heads of the offensive and defensive linemen. Gotta love it. Need to get back in that end zone, though. Five minutes to play here in the first half. Definitely want another touchdown. Throwing to the end zone, and it'll be a touchdown. David Harris. Not someone who gets the football a whole ton in this offense, but Geary finding everybody today. Took another hit, but he just is able to stay in there and deliver an awesome throw. He is playing about the game of his life right now, and he's had stretches of playing amazingly, and then some stretches of playing not so well. But today, he certainly got it. And we are dominating Air Force, so much so that I actually want to check, is this still Heisman with all of my correct sliders? It is Heisman, and the sliders here can be found in house rules, not used to that. Custom AI, user accuracy, nine. Wide receiver catching, one. Run blocking, one. These are the sliders we play on. They're not supposed to be easy, but we're finding a way. And Garrett Geary and his receivers are just playing really well right now. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, those guys all suck. Conley, running back. Warren, Running back, other guy running back, I'm not even sure. They have no ability to pass the football, but I still got to keep DBs on the field. But bird in the box here might not be a great idea. Bird box, interesting. But doesn't matter, this quarterback can't throw. I mean, he, he literally is what people think Lamar Jackson is. This is a running back. He sucks. Third and 10. Does the Air Force offense have any way to move the ball here? We shall see. They're going to have to pass, and it's a screen. They do not trust this quarterback at all. But look at the hustle from Holt. Pushes Eric Webb out of bounds after a gain of seven. And Air Force certainly going to have to punt the football again. Four minutes to play here in the first half. We've got a 17-7, 10-point lead. Need to extend that. Because making this, you know, even 20-7 would be awesome going into the locker room. But obviously 24 to seven would be certainly a lot better. Air Force does get the football to start the second half. So we are not like far and away easily gonna take this game. It's still only a two possession game. Need to find ways to score. And we cannot take our foot off the gas pedal. More screen work from Inoke. And it's another first down for Kahi Kalane Inoke. Three catches for 78 yards. Still looking for that touchdown. Maybe we find it on this drive. Geary on the move. Do not want to get caught from behind. It does happen, though. Geary just shakes off the would-be tackler. It's third and two. We're really not running the ball very much today. It's a fifth attempt by Geary. But I don't really think that Jimmy Gordon has too many more than five attempts. Maybe slightly. But it's been really tough to, to find space. Obviously, there was a little bit of space to the outside there. This was his uh, sixth attempt. The Air Force defense has just been a little bit better about stopping the run here today. So we've obviously just been, you know, doing what works, and that's passing the football. 
And we might try it again here. Geary with a decent release. Able to lob it up. Anoke can't track it down. I think Anoke needed slightly more on that. Oh, he's got a free release. Not Anoke. Uh, Geary definitely was open there, and now Geary's injured. Oh, man. We could only have him for so long. Garrett Geary out of the game. Injured on the throw. Williamson, of course, back out onto the field. It's a great ball. What an unbelievable catch from John Smith. What an unbelievable catch. Williamson with a good throw. Now, he gives us a little bit more mobility despite not being as fast. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it does. Because they just don't expect the sneaky speed of Williamson. And he's got a lot of heart. Can't see it on that play. But Sean Williamson, man, he's he's been a good backup so far. Get Johnson up there as a lead blocker. I love this idea. Oh, middle wide open. Look at Williamson go. Gets eight on a second and long read option. At this point, without Geary, we're just trying to bide our time. And not really give Air Force the football back. So, I'm okay keeping the ball on the ground. It's not that I'm playing for three, but I'm okay with it. You know, of course, you get to this part of the field. You want to score a touchdown. But I'm not going to shoot ourselves in the foot because we absolutely need a touchdown. I'd be fine with a field goal. I know it even annoys me to hear that because we're at this point in the field already. Lingard catches it right over the middle, and we only get three. But uh, we don't want to make a mistake, and we don't want to let Air Force score more points. What's better, the... the like, whatever percentage you're getting seven that we have, right? Maybe it's, let's say, 50%. Or stopping Air Force from getting seven. What's better? Us getting three and Air Force getting zero to end the first half, right? Or Riverside maybe getting zero and Air Force getting seven or three. I don't know. I'm just trying to consider everything. Fourth and one. We're going to line up to go for it. I think we actually might, you know. Snap the football. Up the middle. Gordon, great blocks. Jimmy Gordon, first down. And his first and goal. We rolled the dice there. And we got lucky sevens. Not how dice work. But, jeez. Oh, You're supposed to roll a seven. And Geary's got a concussion. This guy's literally made of glass. I mean, it's unbelievable. Maybe not literally, but pretty close. His head is like going to be mashed potatoes in there. He's concussed every game. He definitely doesn't know his own name. 30 seconds to go here in the half. It's so tough, man. Geary is playing so well. But of course, he just can't stay healthy. 15 seconds. Up the middle. Gordon. Touchdown number two. Really could not have ended that first half any better. If Air Force is able to score in 12 seconds without throwing the football successfully for an entire half, they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it at that point. It is 24 to 7. Starting quarterback is done for the game. Starting QB is out. But we've built up enough of a lead. We're essentially forcing Air Force to throw the ball for the entire second half. We'll see if they do. They're down by a bit. They're going to need to start scoring real quick. Air Force ran the ball for seven yards. It took a lot of seconds, and then they called a timeout. I honestly, I don't know what they think is going to happen here. Like, what is the best case scenario? You get sacked. It's halftime. <laughs> Lamar Simmons gets to the quarterback. Not surprising. Great spin move by him as well. Lamar Simmons, TFL machine for us. And yeah, that's halftime. I, I don't know what Air Force's strategy was, but they better bring a new one into the second half if they want any chance to get back in this one. 24 to 7 at half. Really an awesome performance, but I don't know that you can expect our offense to play at a top tier level in the third and fourth quarter, considering we do not have our starting quarterback. That is a large reason why we have this lead in the first place. He was throwing the ball so well, and now, I mean, what can we really count on? Williamson, not the best arm in the world, not the best legs in the world. Hopefully, heart is enough to win us this game. Still need to meet some rushing and passing milestones for our offensive line. 
visits at this game. The big recruits, but we'll see if we can. Still want to win more than anything. And we're back to this. Good luck. Uh, it's not working. It is not working. Eric Webb loses a yard. Blocks falling apart. Jared Bird with another TFL. We were into the backfield quickly, just couldn't finish, but it's okay when everyone's swarming the ball carrier like we are. If they want to run the ball this second half, I wish they would. Keep the clock moving. You're going to be in for a rough time. Fake pitch, pass, check down. Wesley Price can't make the tackle, but Crooks is right there. Third and five. Conley over the middle wide open. We kind of vacated our zone because we were trying to cover for seven seconds down the field. That's their longest completion of the game, I think, by a lot. By a lot. They've only completed screens, I want to say. I think that's the only non-screen they've completed. I'm pretty sure. And it's the third quarter. Up the middle. Oh, we left him. I tried to go down for the interception and held triangle, but I guess we moved too far out of the way. I thought we'd get like a jump up for the football. No. Moved too far with Jared Bird. Big mistake for me. I'll take full responsibility. It was going for the interception and just cost us a ton of yards. Air Force with their best drive of the game by a mile. Well, actually, their first one was pretty good. But since then, they've been crushed. I need to get it together this drive. Played well in the first half. Played well individually. Now, I'm making some mistakes. Don't really want to let Air Force back in this one. Believe it or not. Conley taking off. It's a touchdown. Yeah, knew that instantly. There was just nobody, you know, containing. Nobody playing for the quarterback. It's a 10-point game. You know, it's amazing how much scarier 24-14 looks as opposed to 24-7. to They only got seven points, but now it actually feels like a game again, which is something I was looking to avoid. Does, you know, 31-14 to feel the same way? It's the same amount of points, but does it feel the same? I think it does. I think it does. So let's just, let's find the end zone. Uh, he just stopped. Just stopped. Broken toe will return soon. Mario Gardner's a beast. He broke his toe and he's just going to head right back out there. Kind of under pressure. I see an okay. We just forced it to him. Okay. We got to get it under control here. Third and ten. They're kind of containing. Missed him. Uh, yeah, we're going to punt. This is It's falling apart. A great punt. Puts Air Force inside the 20. Oh, great tackle. Conley loses two. Marcus Crooks stealing a play away from Air Force. Gotta love it. Second and 12. We could just blitz the run. That's an option. They're going two by two. I don't know that this is a pass, though. It is. Quick throw over the middle. Good tackling there from Alex Toure. Third and six. Not guaranteed to be a pass here either. It could be, but no guarantee. I think it might have been a screen at first. Running back wide open, that's going to end up being the recipient. Uh, man coverage, not nearly good enough there. And that wasn't me in man coverage, by the way. It was in a hook zone. Probably should have ran with that, though. But that was McBride in man coverage, who looked pretty bad, and Conley's just going to take off. Oh, big hit, but... I mean, this is going to be 24-21. This is, this is not good. Horse with the interception! Easy reads! One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Easy reads for the true freshman. Miles Horst checks into the game and gives Air Force a letter. It's a horse basketball reference. I don't know. It's kind of a, kind of a stretch. Kind of a stretch. But we needed a turnover. We needed a big play. And we got one. Jimmy Gordon casually having a pretty nice game with two touchdowns. Playing for number three right now. It is just tough to consistently run the ball. We've had a couple of nice plays, no question. But that consistency is something that we're searching for. Could keep the ball on the ground here on second and nine. I think we will. I like what the defense is showing. We'll make it third and four. I'm pretty happy with that. We could even run the ball again. Don't really want to play for a field goal here, but it could be smart. We'll see what the defense comes out in. 
Uh, I think I'd prefer a pass, especially with that safety creeping up. But again, it's just kind of a bluff. Get it out to the running back. Gordon makes a man. Miss enough to fall forward. Gets the first down. First and goal now. His third catch of the game. Probably not going to call a screen. I'm not going to say this is for sure. Three straight runs. But it certainly could be. Or maybe even just one. Holmes down to the one. Couldn't quite get in there. Anthony Holmes stopped just short. I think we still need to pass for 200 yards for game goals. They want us to pass here. I just feel like, yeah, Air Force is ready for this. They've got three down linemen and one linebacker in the box. I don't know how they could have ever stopped a run. Jimmy Gordon with the hat trick. Three touchdowns for our backup running back. And it's 31-14. Feeling a little bit more comfortable, but... You know, if not for a big interception by Miles Horst, this game looks a lot different. Can't necessarily rely on turnovers. It's great to get them, but we need to be more consistent with getting stops on defense like we were in the first half. Yeah, it's a big play. That's a big play. Didn't really say much during that because I didn't think it was going to be what happened. Yeah, that's something. There we go. There's a good tackle. Way to bounce back. I don't know how he didn't make the tackle, by the way, in the dive. The previous play. I feel like that was absolutely ridiculous. Thought we lined it up. I need to just animate there. We're right there. Just grab him. Please. Second and nine. Quarterback keeps it and then pitches. So how am I diving in front of him? I don't... I feel like we're right there. I know I, I stink or whatever. It is tough making the transition back from uh, Madden to NCAA and then back again. But I, I feel like I'm right there. I really do. And that play, I feel like it's crazy. Touchdown. Can't wrap up. Play Williams, 19-yard score. That was an instant reaction. Not good enough on that drive. Not good enough at all. Four plays, one minute, seven points. Mac Chung, Torn Peck. Going to miss two weeks. I mean, the toughness of this team is remarkable. But, dude, these injuries are crazy. Look at Jimmy Gordon. Doesn't have the speed. Oh, my goodness. That could have been massive. That will be the last play of the third quarter. Got a 10-point lead headed into the fourth. Got the football. Need to take more time off the clock. It's finish time. Here we go. We've been abusing the screen to Anoke. Works better to him than to Lingard got to throw it away there. I don't know why you'd throw it away to that side of the field, but okay. We were out of the tackle box, I thought, and towards the sideline, they picked that up. Are they going to be ready for it on consecutive plays? Kind of an insane idea, and they are not ready for it. Lingard up the middle does have a lead blocker. Could have been better, but we'll take eight. Third and one, they read the running back. Look at Williamson! Going to slide. Big first down, though. First and 10, could just keep the ball on the ground. Oh, that was so dangerous, and I'll tell you why. When the quarterback goes up above the running back to throw back to the screen, if that's missed, that's not an incomplete pass. That is a live ball, that'd be a fumble. Don't do that again, me, please. That was insane. That's an interesting play. Third and five, keeping it on the ground, that's fine. It's a 10 point lead. And, ooh, this is actually interesting. Yeah, I think we should go for it because it's a two possession game still with a field goal. They would need two touchdowns, though. But if we get the first down, game is pretty much over. So we are going to roll the dice, I think. Safety's going to creep up. Going to try that mid screen. There it is. Timing's great. Fourth and five conversion is successful. Steven Jones for 12, his third catch of the game. And that's going to be bad news for Air Force. Very bad news. Jimmy Gordon up to 81 yards on the ground. Go to the screen again. I think we try to get uh, Jimmy Gordon's off the field. Anthony Holmes checks in. Up the middle, fighting. Gets three. We're going to be under two minutes now. No, we're not actually because Air Force is calling timeouts. 
Well, you can't put a timeout on Jimmy Gordon. Four touchdowns for Gordon. I mean, maybe this isn't a passing offense. We are getting into the goal line and we are pounding it in. Jimmy Gordon with four scores. Looking like Abe Lincoln, baby. Huge. Four score like he's Abe Lincoln. That might be that might be my best line of all time. Just I, I don't know. Could have been delivered better, maybe. But just whew. I got goosebumps. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, this guy sucks. Oh, but they move. See, you can't cover the zigzag. You play this game. I'm telling you, it's tougher than you think. Sometimes it's very easy. Sometimes it's incredibly difficult. Because they zigzag run, and it doesn't let you compete. They don't let me compete. A minute and a half now. Saw that play over the middle. I know exactly what that is. Third and four. Minute and 22 left on the clock. Oh, it's a screen the other way. And down goes Conley. Doesn't have enough time. That's Richard Holt. He's had a nice game today. Good hustle, but also two tackles for loss. Gets a sack in there. Great performance from our defensive line today. Not a ton of pressure or anything crazy, but they've made plays when they need to. We're still looking for that, like, monster edge rusher, of course. You know, Mac Chung going down for a couple weeks doesn't help. Conley, I thought he was going to get sacked there. It didn't quite happen. But I think it's going to be too little too late for Air Force. We got a 38-21 to 21 lead. We've played, you know, very well overall. Well enough, I should say. And you know what? I think Miles Horst ends up moving down to play defensive end until Mac Chung is back. That's my expectation because he's got really high finesse moves. It's like, and he's a true freshman. It's like 84 or, or something comparable. And Mac Chung's injured out for a little while. And we honestly don't really play a ton of Miles Horst anyway. Does have the interception this game. Only a 58 overall, but 85 speed. Strength is a problem. Maybe just designated pass rusher, but yeah, 84 finesse moves. 76 block shed. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see if he plays well. Certainly plenty of speed and uh, finesse moves. Maybe maybe he's a nightmare. Oh, we are out of position badly here. Guys are not where they need to be. Oh, big hit from West Price. Now I really want Miles Horst to get pressure. That'd be sick. Oh, it could be happening. Nope. It's going to be Holt again. Sacked again. Richard Holt with another one on this drive. Again, he's had a nice game. Ball start at this point. Hey, what are we doing? 38-21. Come on. Third and 14. I called a timeout to get Horse back on the field. I'm really just interested to see what he can do. That was my motivation for that. McDuffie steps up onto the line as Morris comes in motion. It's going to be thrown towards him. Happily can't make the tackle. Teray saves a touchdown. But Air Force knocking on the door. Could find the end zone here. The timeout certainly would uh, help them do that. But they had a timeout of their own. I just wanted to make sure we could get our correct personnel. Doesn't end up working out, though. Wesley Price drills Webb. He's had a real habit of losing yards today. Does have six rushes for 25, but I think a lot of that came on one play. Second goal from the five. Could be the final play of the game. Going to be a pitch. Price trying to save a touchdown, and he does. That's the end of the game. We still keep Air Force out of the end zone. One of our best played games of the series. We've been playing really well of late. And Jimmy Gordon was a big reason why. Four touchdowns. Wasn't really like the focal point of this game. But we get the home upset. We beat the number 24 ranked team in the nation. And it wasn't even particularly close for a while. We controlled this game. And we are now above 500. Three and two. Although, we might have been three and two headed into this one. Was Air Force already three and one? Yeah, and they were two and oh in the conference. So we're going to improve to four and two as Air Force drops to three and two. Now, are we going to get ranked after this because we beat the number 24 team? No. No, no, no chance. But, going to help out with recruits. 
and it's going to help us get ranked next season. Three and two in the Mountain West to start, even improving to four and two. It's not going to change much, but uh, we need our quarterback back. Daniel Belcher's back next week, so you know what? Jimmy Gordon played great, but if he can score four touchdowns, I wonder what Daniel Belcher can do. Passing, Garrett Geary was off to a great start. Williamson did enough. It was a lot of running in the second half. It was a really well-played game overall. I'm really just thrilled with the way this went. Lingard, six catches for 54 yards, did have two drops. Anoke was incredible, three for 78. I love his fit in the offense, and I just want to keep doing what we did this game. Everything worked. Jared Bird with a couple of tackles for loss. Holt had three, one for Crooks, Simmons, and Price. And then sacks for Richard Holt, two, one for Simmons. And of course, the big pick. Miles Horst, the freshman from Harahan, Louisiana. No forced fumbles or fumble recoveries, touchdowns, nothing like that. Eventually it will come, I believe, just not today. We do have five offensive coordinator and five defensive coordinator upgrades available. Might handle that in the next episode, but big time game. You got to think Jimmy Gordon's going to be your Mountain West player of the week. I don't know if you can find that in here. Maybe you can. Oh, there is Players of the Week. Won't be for right now, though. Although it's only NCAA. Until you sort by Mountain West. Linwood Tapley, Player of the Week last week. Yeah, I expect to see somebody in there from Riverside again for Week 8. And we got two new commitments. The two offensive linemen that visited have officially committed to Riverside. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Now, that's not only huge because we got two new commits. That's awesome, right? But... What's so big about that as the running back air <coughs> nearly choked to death trying to say Eric swoops there. Uh, my throat's just been so dry. I don't know. I think it's called a senior moment, but we'll take Eric swoops off the board. And where are we on Xavier Harris? Very far behind as expected, but we are gaining ground. We'll also for sure offer a scholarship to Chris Christian. Could move him up the board quite a bit uh, or, or Riverside up the board for him. But yeah, Ryan Cook. New commit. Gotta love it. But what I was trying to say is it opens up points to use on other players and potentially even scouting as well. Drango has at max or at, well, not more than three years of eligibility, probably two, but starting guard, 71 overall. Looks good enough. Good speed too at 69 speed. And then Ryan Cook, only 60 speed, but 87 run block. Maybe more of a guard than a tackle. We're in recruiting battles for guys like Jorquarius Huff. He is ready to visit, though. I really think we're going to have a good shot to get him. I really do. So that getting those visits scheduled is going to be huge. I definitely want to Keithan Kasher. He looks like an awesome tight end. Really good speed. This is one of the players I want the most in the entire class, probably. Uh, we're just still quite far behind. Uh, but we are doing what we can right now. Recruiting battles all over the place. It's going to be tough to get a lot of these players. We're trying to hang in there. Some of these guys just want to play at, at big-time schools, right? So uh, that's going to do it for this episode. A lot going on. I will allocate those points probably at the start of the next episode. But huge to go out, play really well, get two new commits. That's really all you can ask for. And how do we not get a Mountain West Player of the Week? Five total touchdowns for the Wyoming quarterback, Nicholas Smith, might be how. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.